The number of journalists killed while on the job or in retaliation for their work declined worldwide in 2017, but one country remains increasingly perilous, Mexico. So far in 2017, 42 journalists worldwide have been killed, compared with 48 a year earlier, according to the Committee to Protect Journalists, a nonpartisan group that tracks press freedoms. Iraq and Syria were the deadliest places for journalists this year, with eight killed in Iraq and seven in Syria. But outside war zones, Mexico is the most dangerous place for journalists. According to the committee, six Mexican journalists were killed in retaliation for their reporting, often of corrupt government officials or drug cartels. But according to news reports and the group Reporters Without Borders, six additional Mexican journalists died in 2017. The motivation for their slangs remains unclear, but they also often wrote about crime and corruption. One journalist was gunned down Tuesday. Many of the 12 were killed in public, some in front of their own children. Often, they were slain in broad daylight. Two were gunned down the same day. Courtney Reddish, the committee's advocacy director, said that Mexico's leaders lack the political will to stop the violence against journalists and have repeatedly failed to provide the resources necessary to track down and prosecute the people behind the killings. Except in two cases there have been no arrests in this year's killings. The murderers of journalists continue to go free, so it's open season on Mexican journalists, Reddish said. We hear from Mexican journalists that they are self-censoring, that they're having to flee their homes and go into exile, and that it just becomes more and more dangerous for journalists in Mexico. Here are the 12 Mexican journalists killed this year, in chronological order, with the city and state where they died. City, Ciudad Altamirano, Guerrero What he wrote about, Pineda covered crime and corruption through his Facebook page, which has almost 32,000 followers, and also wrote for newspapers. Where he worked, Mon Louis was a newspaper columnist and the editorial director of El Politico newspaper. He had been a journalist for more than 30 years. What he wrote about Mon Louis often wrote about conflicts between the Veracruz authorities and farmers and workers in the sugar cane industry, one of the region's main economic activities, according to reporters without borders. How he died, Mon Louis was leaving a restaurant about 10 a.m. with his wife and son when his attackers rode by on a motorcycle, firing three times. One of the bullets hit Monwe in the head, the Committee to Protect Journalists noted. His wife and son were unharmed. Veracruz has been a dangerous place for journalists, with at least six journalists from the state killed between 2010 and 2016 in direct retaliation for their work, according to the committee's research. A memorial in Mexico City honors slain journalists Moroslava Breach, Left, and Javier Valdez. The title above breaches photograph says, Enough, Rebecca Blackwell, Associated Press City, Chihuahua City, Chihuahua where she worked. Breach worked as a correspondent for the national newspaper La Jornada for 15 years and for several local newspapers. Since January, she also had run her own news agency, Mir. What she wrote about Breach wrote about drug cartels and corruption, among other things. Shortly before her death, Breach had been threatened for her reporting that alleged links between politicians and organized crime figures. How she died, Breach, a mother of three, was pulling out of her garage with one of her children in the car when she was shot several times. She died on the way to the hospital. A sign left at the crime scene said, Tattletale. After her death, the newspaper Norte announced it was closing because the owner said Mexico had become too dangerous for journalists to do their jobs. Police investigators work on the crime scene where Maximino Rodriguez Palacios was killed by gunmen on April 14th. AFP, Getty Images City, La Paz, Baja California Sir where he worked, Rodriguez was a veteran journalist who had worked for national and regional media outlets. He had previously worked as a spokesman for the state attorney general's office. How he died, Rodriguez and his wife were in the parking lot of a shopping center when he was shot and killed by a group of attackers in a white SUV. His wife was unharmed. Three suspects have been arrested in connection with the killing. Relatives of slain journalist Javier Valdez Cardenas, co-founder of Raya Doche, stand at a memorial set up at the spot where he was gunned down in Culiacan, Sinaloa. Enrique Marti, Associated Press where he worked, Valdez was a correspondent for the Mexico City-based Daily La Jornada and a co-founder of the regional weekly Raya Doche. What he wrote about Valdez was a well-known journalist and author who had written extensively about Mexico's drug war, corruption and crime. Valdez had spoken openly about the dangers that Mexican journalists faced. When Breach was killed in March, Valdez tweeted, Let them kill us all, if that is the death penalty for reporting this hell.
No to silence. How he died, shortly after leaving the Rio Doce office at about noon, Valdez was dragged out of his car on a busy street and shot at least 12 times. In 2011, Valdez was awarded with the Committee to Protect Journalists International Press Freedom Award. I dedicate this award to the brave journalists, and to the children and youths who are living a slow death. Valdez said, I have preferred to give a face and a name to the victims, to create a portrait of this sad and desolate panorama, these leaps and bounds and shortcuts towards the apocalypse, instead of counting deaths and reducing them to numbers. You can his speech below, which starts near the 6.30 mark. City, Otland de Navarro, Jalisco where he worked, he worked as a reporter for El Casteño, a weekly newspaper. What he wrote about, he covered local news, and his family had previously faced threats. How he died, Rodriguez and his mother, Sonia Cordova, deputy director of El Casteño, were driving when gunmen opened fire on them, killing Rodriguez and wounding his mother. Killed, killed between May 18 and June 14, City, Gabriel Zamora, Michoacan What he wrote about, Adami covered general news and local politics in southern Michoacan. The Committee to Protect Journalists found in its research that Adami had been a frequent critic of local officials. City, Rosarito, Baja California where he worked, Rivera Salgado was a TV reporter and an editor for El Dictamen, a news website focused on Rosarito and Tijuana. What he wrote about, Rivera Salgado covered crime. Mario Rivera, the director of CNR-TV, where Rivera Salgado worked for nearly 10 years, told The Times that it was essential that authorities look closely at whether his work played a role in his killing. He often criticized the security situation here. Rivera said, We as a station have been very tough critics. How he died, Rivera Salgado was celebrating his 29th birthday when he was shot in the head at 1.40 a.m. While at La Antigua Bar in Rosarito, what he wrote about Padilla had covered crime and also hosted a humorous television show, and Rivera was his cameraman, The Guardian reported. Relatives of the Mexican journalist Candido Rios Vasquez more next to his coffin. Angel Hernandez, European press photo agency City, Huaypan do Campo, Veracruz where he worked, Rios founded a local newspaper and covered crime for a regional paper, El Diario de Cayucan. What he wrote about, Rios was a crime reporter who wrote about government corruption for years. The threats were constant. Rios editor, Cecilio Perez Cortes, told The Times. How he died, Rios was outside a corner store with a former police investigator and a local rancher when the three were killed in a drive-by shooting. In 2013, Rios enrolled in a Mexican government program to protect journalists. The program provides reporters with emergency evacuations, police protection and, in some cases, even a panic button that summons authorities. Killed, abducted October. 5. Found dead October. 6. City, San Luis Potosi, San Luis Potosi How he died, armed men broke into his home, claimed they were state investigative police, and took him away at gunpoint. He was found dead the next day after being tortured and shot. A newspaper reporting the death of journalist Gamero Perez carries the headline, They Killed Gamero, in a Cayucan, Veracruz State, Mexico. Felix Marquez, Associated Press What he wrote about Perez covered crime for several local outlets. He was enrolled in a state program designed to protect journalists. Jacqueline.Cosgrove at LawTimes.com Twitter, at Jacqueline Cosgrove.